Good day, everybody. So today, we're going to discuss another brand new lesson, which will, uh, which will be about um, intellectual property rights. And not just that, but we will all we will be tackling um, the legal, the ethical, and all the other um, official, the what you call this official um, proceedings that we should undertake uh, in order for us to be able to share our information officially and um, by abiding the law. Okay, so right before we start. I would just like to have first a short um, review or a quick review lang, um, of the previous lesson that we, we have discussed. It was all about the media languages, right? And you've learned in that lesson that there are certain languages that um, we use in media, right? And media languages do not, um, do not necessarily mean words, phrases, because it's a language, right? Um, it's more than that, okay? Kung baga daw, um, ginagamit na ang term na language because ang mga codes, ang mga conventions that we discussed, kung baga are the uh, words, kung baga are the living testaments of uh, media para ma-deliver nila maayo ang ilang content or information, Right? So before we start uh, with our new lesson, uh, I would like to remind everybody, okay, ang mga wala nag-comment sa YouTube videos, okay, I am <clears throat> gathering all the comments, okay, I am looking into that. So please um, do watch this video in order for you to learn. And some of you, okay, would go on Facebook and run everything that um, they, uh, you would actually uh, promote or advocate academic phrase, right? And some of you are trying to complain about the things going on in the online classes, even though you do not apply the correct and the proper way of studying, of, of online learning and self-paced study all by yourself. Okay? So, kabay pa, hindi ka mag sa Facebook if you cannot um, be a living proof sa ginapanghambal ninyo. Okay? Ang iban sa inyo, wala galantaw sa videos, right? I don't know kung makita ni sa mga tao nga ang gina, ginatumod ko, okay? Or ikaw man, kaya basta galantaw ko yung video, so very good. Pero um, may mga classmate ka mo siguro, or may mga tao, may mga estudyante, na wala yung galantaw videos, okay? I hope na if, um, by this time, Tani, kung nakalantaw ka ng video, ikaw nga wala ka per may galantaw video, Kung makita mo yung ginambal ko, magpanuto ikaw, right? Kaya ginahimo ang tanan sa inyong mga teachers para lang mag-learn ikaw, maisabat ikaw sa mga exam na matabo in the future. So do not blame the teachers or the educational system kung ano ka kauyaya, okay? Kung ano ka ka-irresponsable, ka-ignorante. Amo lang nang ginambal ko, Tani, follow the instruction. I know, ang um, mga comments sa YouTube yan, eh, sila gandiyang follow instructions very well because wala sila damo pa mangkot. Um, anong ginapansiran ko? They watch it um, over the video. Okay? And then, um, they follow the instructions I am stating in these videos. And then, that's it. Okay? They comply. They pass all the requirements. How about you? Okay? Nga ikaw nga wala kagalantaw. Ano yung point? Okay? Tapos mag-chat ka sa akin, mamangkot ka sa mga ulubrahon. Tapos kung isin ka, marant ka sa Facebook, may wala ka ginasapak, wala ka ginamuni. Because the instructions were already stated in the videos. Okay? So I hope na continue to watch the video. Kung kaumpisa ka na subong watch, continue to watch the video. Because this is one great way for you to learn something out of this semester and out of this subject. Alright? And then, uh, ato ganun yung release ko nga mga ngalan for section uh, Felix Stowe, Fremantle, and Hamburg. May release ako nga mga uh, ngalan, right? And then, it has it had a content na kung sa diin, ginpakita ko sa inyo kung sino nakapasa, pag sino may mga lacking requirements. Those who are shaded black, 
kumpleto na sila or naka-answer sila sa certain activity nga na. Those who are not shaded, okay, kag naka-white lang siya, amo na ang wala ko gidya, uh, wala gidya nakapasa sa certain activity nga na. And then may mga tao from all these three sections nga wala gidya inansiran from the very beginning, from the pretest until dito sa may lesson 5 naton, okay, nga wala gidya ka-answer. Alright? And even sa may uh, lesson 6, wala mga yapo nag-abide. Uh, However, um, lesson 6 and lesson 7, nga ginadiscuss sa subong sa video ngayon eh, um, well, they will be closed on Sunday. Okay? So, I hope you you take uh, you take it down. Um, make sure that you would always have um, what you got this? Um, a notebook whenever you are listening to me. A notebook in a pen. Because kung hindi mo gusto magbalik-balik sa video as what I said, hindi ka na um, ilista mo na ng tanan nga ulubrahon. Okay? kag tanan nga mga announcement kaya para hindi ka na magbalik-balik. Alright? Pwede mo lang balikan ang mga <clears throat> ang mga uh, performance tasks nga ginapanghambal ko. Okay? And then ang mga iban pag hindi instruction nga daw sa video nyo lang uh, sa video nyo lang dapat mabalaan and then you apply it directly dira sa inyong Moodle or sa inyong mga uh, different platforms na ginapagamit ko. Alright? So kabay pa na um, you will list down and you will learn something from the discussions that we are making because the exam, okay, the exams, some of the items or the exam na lang, okay, the entire exam would be situational, alright? So, hindi sa class mag-focus sa mga amuni, amuna, or um, mahambagabi. What is the media that is chu 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 okay? So, um, it's not going to be that way. I am going to find... Um, um, I am going to exhaust all resources, okay? I am going to do my best na mag, mag-ubra sa exam kung sa diin i-apply nyo ang, i-apply nyo ang mga concept na natunan nyo dire sa isa ka situation. Alright? So, kabay pa, mamamati. Kamukag kung hindi ka mo klas mamati, it's your, kag wala kang may answer sa exam or masiro ka mo sa exam or manubuin yung grade sa exam, ma-failure ka mo sa exam, it's not my fault. Alright? Kaya wala akong nagkulang sa inyong paintindi, Okay? ginahi mo ang tanan kay para may matunan ka mo. Okay? Now, um, enough of that, ipakita ko sa inyo, Anay, ang inyo nga, um, ang schedule, as what I said, okay? Um, ano uras ko ginasend ang mga videos, right? So, every day, or every Tuesday and Thursday, Felix to 10, Fremantle 1, Hamburg 3, alright? So, balaan nyo na na. Last time, nindiscuss ko naman na. Next, anong title subong sa ngatang nga klase? Okay? Ang klase ta subong um, is entitled Unit 1, Lesson 7. Okay? Its main title is Legal, Ethical, and Societal Issues in Media and Information. I've also um, encoded the uh, the date where I um, share the link to you para i-access nyo. And it is on October 1, 2020. And it is on Thursday. Alright? Para hindi ko malipat, hindi makamalipat. Okay? So, that's the title. Then, the activity for lesson 7 are these ones. Okay? Um, activities to do on this lesson, lesson 7. Acquire, of course. Acquire, you need to read, understand, and review everything for the upcoming quiz. Or review everything for the upcoming exam. Next would be the assess part. As what I said, assess part is always graded. And you really need to take the quiz in order for you to get a score from this lesson. Okay, so assess part. This will be opened right after this link of the video or this video is sent to your section. Okay, so expect na na uh, once you are done with this discussion or with this video, you can go directly to assess kay para mag-answer. Now, may ara pa kita, di ba, usually may activate kita yung apply. Now, wala kita sa duwangan eh, kaya hindi ko pagpansiran sa inyo. Alright? So, ha, ara na ha, okay, ginatagan ta ka mo sang chance, ginatagan ta ka mo sang comfort, na hindi na ka mo mag-answer sang activate and apply nga part. Alright? So, inyo nga, focus na lang, assess, and of course, acquire, matuon ka mo. Okay? Or mamati ka mo sa video nga, eh, take down notes, kagtunan nyo later. Kaya mo na magwa sa quiz. As what I said, do not attempt the quiz if you, if you think you do not have a good or stable internet connection. If, because if that happens, and if you're in the middle of the quiz and your connection is disrupted or disconnected, and what would happen? Okay? Um, uh, your tendency would, uh, you would chat me, okay? 
you would message me over the messenger and then you would tell me to reopen okay or for you to reattempt the quiz and that's what i said i will not allow it anymore and if i will allow it okay kung i allow ko gid man siya dapat ang nag request sa ako na magpa-reattempt amo pa lang ng una niya or first time niya nagpa-reattempt sa ako because if it's the second time the third time hindi na ako magpasugot all right next when um, is the deadline of uh, the lesson 7? Okay? So, the deadline of it will be on, ara o, dako na ako, alam na pa sa, Sunday, Domingo, October 4, 2020, 11.59 p.m. So, this Sunday na siya class at exactly 11.59 p.m. So, if you are not finished with that, with the activity or with this lesson, okay, and then it's past Sunday already, then it's not my fault anymore because um, the announcement was made right before the deadline. All right? So next. Okay. So here, uh, mahatag ko sang palugit. All right? Mahata, hatagan ta ka mo yung sang chansa pa. Sang mga wala pa naka-answer sang um, Miyerkules. Okay? Yung wala pa naka-answer sang Miyerkules at exactly 11.59 p.m., the quiz is still open. Okay? Pwede pa mo makakuha. What is that quiz all about? It was all about the lesson 6. Okay? So, ang lesson 6, kagang lesson 7, when are they going to close? Okay? Saan o sila maklose? Saan o maklose ni ang dua ka lessons na gintakol subung a week? Which are lesson 6 and lesson 7. Saan o i-close? It will be closed on Sunday, Domingo, October 4, 2020, 11.59 p.m. Ginsulit ko na naman. So, kung hindi ka ni makalantaw sa video, ya kag hindi ka naka-answer kay kag mamba, kasi ako nga wala kayo naka-answer sa sang quiz because you were not informed, I can just show you this video. Okay? And that's it. Okay? Kasuhan mo ko ya, may ebidensya ko. Alright? Next. Okay? So, now we're going to start with our discussion and we're going to go with... Um, Okay, one of the most, uh, one of the contents of our lesson for today is this one, intellectual property rights. However, um, we're not going to stick with it as we are going to have, um, All right, so here it is. Um, okay, so now we're going to start with um, our lesson seven. Ang, intay, ang title niya again is Legal, Ethical, and Societal Issues in Media and Information. So there are there is the word legal. So we're go, we're gonna talk about the laws. Okay. Ang mga laws, ang mga lagi balaklas, alright? Um, um, uh, when it comes to um, protecting or disseminating information through media. Alright, so next, we're going to start off with this one. Intellectual property in international and local context. So in this one, we're going to talk about IP or international property. Importante class nga um, ginagamitan ta or ang isa ka butang or ang isa ni mo ka creation would be under legal rights because on this manner, um, your creation would be protected and it will always be credited back to you. Okay? So, ginakredit, gina, whatever usage inangagamiton dapat sa magamit sina, okay? as long as there is an IP, Okay, um, gina ano gina class, gina uh, gina balik gina credit sa imo, right? Now we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about intellectual property in, and we're going to discuss it further. According to the World Intellectual Property Organization or WPO, okay, so it's important for you to know WIPO, intellectual property or IP in intellectual property class is also what we call IP, okay. It refers to creations of the mind. Okay, this must um, this must come from um, a source, and that source 
would be a certain person who who thought about um about an idea okay and was able to come up with a creation as a result of that idea okay um reference to creations of the mind such as inventions all right literary and artistic works magamagita literary mga sinulatan okay and then artistic works kumbaga mga painting um uh, other uh, other art forms pa din nga ginahatapat hatagan natin sa um um property right magamba kita property right plus do licensia bala do licensia sang imo nga ubra right next designs pa gid so dapat ginahatagan mana symbols names and images used in commerce okay there is uh, this kumbaga this is the most important thing here okay ang um, ginatawag natin na commerce or in business all right so if certain ideas or mga inventions artistic works liter uh, literary works okay if they are made if they are made class to be used for business or for commerce or para makakuha ikaw sang kwarta importante class nga ginatagaan siya sang ang mga ginapang ubra mo example ang mga inventions Okay, importante nga butangan ina lisensya. All right? Because gina uh, kumbaga class do ginakita ana sa kwarta. All right? Um and then kung gamito naman sa class, for example, kung gamiton siya for business purposes na naman class, okay? Ah uh, gamiton sang for business purposes be for example, ang isa ka company naka-develop sila ka sang isa ka logo. Okay? For example, logo. Then ang isa ka company na inspire sila sang logo sang company na ni. Okay? So what are they going to do? Okay? In um in relation to IP, okay? Or in respect to IP or to international property kay malisen sa ang logo sang company nga ni nga giubra, ka gusto ya gamito sang company nga ni, so malisen sa gid sa dapat. And anong lisensya? It ano pano ang process sang paglisensya, sir? Okay? May bayad na. All right? May bayad na class, may kwarta nga involved, may money nga involved. Then may mga procedure nga inanglan sundon. Alright? Because class, kung ang company nga ini, hindi siya class magbayad or hindi siya class mag-agi mismo sa nag-ubra sa to, okay? Kung hindi apag ilisensya, and then mabalaan sa company nga ni, naging gamit yung logo without knowing it, okay? Without due process or without due recognition or credits, pwede yan kasuhan class ang company nga ini. Alright? Nga nagamit sina, unauthorized nga pagamit sina. Alright? Next, Such products of human intellect greatly affects different parts of the society because class di ba um ang mga mga creations nga naya magcreate ka di ba you have a certain purpose for example mga innovations in science wala ka create ang mga scientists ng mga do mga um ibutang mo lang dapat without um any purpose di ba something is created for a purpose right So dapat um if if it's if that thing has a purpose, okay? So the society could benefit from it. So kung ang society could benefit from it, okay? So um there is a great tendency na dako imo makuha nga kwarta kung bilog ng society magamit sina. All right? So that is where ang intellectual property right or ang intellectual property nagasulod, okay? Kay because uh, may money nga involved. All right? Next. And of course, ang credit man eh Okay, or ang honor mo man as the creator of a certain product or a certain innovation na dapat ginacredit back sa imo ang recognition because you have created or innovated a certain, um, what you call this, um, a certain creation. Next, thus, it is only right that such creations should be protected under intellectual property, property rights. So dapat, um, um, it will be under the protection of intellectual property right kay uh, as what i said the society could benefit from it okay copyright patents trademarks industrial designs geographical indications and trade secrets are the different types of intellectual property so later on we're going to discuss about all of these things arisha okay um and all of these things i discuss na to na siya later Okay, isa-isa ho natin discuss ano ang intellectual property right. Uh, ano ang mga copyright, ano mga patents, ano mga trademarks, and uh, and uh, the things mentioned here. Okay, so the, here is the logo of WIPO or World Intellectual Property Organization. 
intellectual property organization is uh, or protection, its protection is very important in fostering innovation. What does it mean, class? Okay, important class ang intellectual property protection. For example, um, wala yung class na wala balak class na tawag de, wala yung nakawat balas sa imo ang imo design. Okay. Um, ara sa imo ya po ng design mo because it's under intellectual property may ano siya, may protection siya may intellectual property rights siya okay, kagin pa, gin pa gin apply yan mo, gin ina kay gin apply yan na class mo, okay so intellectual property protection, kung may ara ng isa mo ka-design or creation mo class okay, and uh, once hindi siya magamit sang iban, pwede mo na yung class ma-improve, right, pwede mo na siya ma-innovate, kung ano pa ay han ang, ano pa ay han ang maubra mo sina Okay, sa sa imo nga gin create. For example, you created a husay, right? Ano pa yan ang maubra mo sa husay? Okay? Kag ang um, kay wala sa for example, wala gyud na ilog ang husay. Ang idea ang concept sang husay, okay? Wala gyud na ilog sang iban. So ara pa gyud gyapon sa imo yang idea kay may protection ka, okay? So ikaw yak class ang may right paano ya mag-innovate sa ini? Paano ano pa ang iban nga pwede ubrahon sa husay? Okay, for example, wala na siya protection class. Ang iba niya nga tao karon, makaisip na niya sila class ang pwede nila nga i-design pagid sa husay. Right? So, in that manner, ang original na creator sa concept sa husay nga ni, okay, na, ma-discourage na. Kaya may nakaisip na sa idea. So, hindi na siya makredit. So, mas stop ng innovation, dira. Alright? So, in that manner, there's no innovation at all. There's no development. Okay? So, importante kita class ang intellectual right. Next, without any protection of ideas, business and individuals would not reap the full benefits of their inventions and would focus less on research and development. As what I said, this was um this was the content of what I said earlier. Na kung once um wala na yung protection ang ideas sa isa ka tao, okay, or sa isa ka business, for example, hindi nila class makwa ang full benefits nila na supposed to be makwa sa gin-create nila because nakawat ila idea. And in that manner, unta to na lang nila, right? So there's no development at all. There's no research and innovation for that certain product na na-develop nila um, uh, to further explain or to further elaborate pa gin sa amun ang product. So in that manner pa lang, na-stop na siya, all right? Also, artists would not be fully compensated for their creations and cultural vitality would suffer as a result. Okay, for example, um, you are an artist. For example, you are a musician. Okay? Did you know, class, nga ang mga, ang mga singers, mga sikat ng mga singers, pareho kay Katy Perry, okay? Ang iyang dark horse na class nga kanta, it was, um, um, it, it had undergone a lawsuit, okay? Or nakasuhan na class. Okay, gin pasakaan ka. So why? Because may na, may nakapi kuno class, gin copy kuno ang ano, gin copy kuno ang iya nga kanta. Okay? Which are which is um hindi tuod. May nakapi pero similar lang sa class. Hindi siya entirely nga nakapi gin, okay? Do bali ang pila lang bala ka note sa una nga kanta sang Dark Horse na copy na class, okay? Or um similar, similar sila nga duwa. Then um no per di class ang ang nag-akusar, okay? Na perdi ang nag-akusar o nagpasaka kaso kay Katy Perry because ang iya class creation or yung music was not under intellectual property right. Alright? So, importante na class nga ang imong uh, um, right or ang imong music or imong creation, okay? Example lang mga artworks mo, kung i-ano mo siya, kung ibaligya mo sa or i-release mo sa sa audience, okay? Kinanglan di ya class may ano na siya, may lisensya or it will uh, it will have um intellectual property right kay para hindi siya class ma uh, dalik-dalik makuha, okay? And then kung mag-abot sa kasuhay, may bato ka because you have intellectual property right, right? Next. WIPO or World Intellectual Property Organization is a global forum for intellectual property or IP services, policy, information, and cooperation. It is a self-funding agency of the United Nations with 193 member states, member states. The mission of this organization is to become a lead in the development of a balanced and effective international IP system that enables innovation and creativity for the benefit of all. Ultimately, 
WIPO is responsible for the promotion and protection of intellectual property throughout the world through cooperation among states and where appropriate and in collaboration with other international organizations and for the administration of various treaties dealing with intellectual property rights. So basically, class, the thought of that paragraph is that ang a WIPO ang may hold sang tanan nga um, intellectual property rights, right? So um, you cannot directly register sa WIPO um, sa ilang main office. I don't know kung din ilang main office. However, they have uh, satellite offices scattered all over the world. Okay? So may ara kita sa Philippines, uh, anywhere in the world, sa Asia. Okay? Kaya para kung may register ka na something, mga creation, okay? you just can go to that satellite nga, nga branch nila and then um, they will directly send the data sa WIPO. And now you're good to go. Before I proceed, I would like first to um, uh, what do you call this? Present the, the 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 contents of our discussion for today, okay, or for this lesson. The first one na tapal tana intellectual property in international and local context. Now we're still going to have a long day ahead. Okay, may ara kita types of intellectual property one as the five na sila class. Okay, then may ara kita fair use, creative commons, digital citizenship netiquette, and plagiarism. So all of this, we're going to discuss um, um, in this lesson. Before I proceed, I would like to um, present first the, the section Hamburg. Okay, for section Hamburg, Amuni Hamburg ang inyo nga i-comment sa YouTube. You know the drill. So what are you going to do? Gin group na naman kamo, group 1 for Group 1, 3, and 4. Alright? So, ara nakita nyo na. Group 1, eh, 3, a uh, 2, 3, and 4. Ning natabunan sa akong nga picture. Okay? So, group 4 na. Then, what are you going to do? So, may mga ngalan ka muna. Then, at the bottom of it, it has ang um, mga question. Okay? Each group may question. Then, you have to answer the question. Okay? You have to answer the question dira sa YouTube comments. Comment your, again, your name, your whole name, your section, and then your answer. Alright? Sir, kinanglan pa bala namun ibutang ang question. Hindi. Hindi pag ibutang ang question, answer only. Alright? So, name, section, and then answer. You know the drill, you comment down on YouTube. Alright? Okay, isa na sa mga ginacheck ko. Okay? So, that's for section Hamburg. Stand by. So, sa tiin na Hamburg, i-comment. Only for this part of the video. Amo lang nga part kasi kaya ang lesson nga ni eh, would be divided into I think mga four parts. Okay? So part 1 ini. Eh. So sa part 1 ma comment ang Hamburg. All right? Um later on sa iban pa nga parts ma comment ang iban pa nga section nga ginhandol ko. All right? So stand by ang iban nga section kay ma comment man kamo. All right? So um diri na nga part ha sa part 1 ina i comment sang section Hamburg. Okay? 